All right, so you've heard of Super Tuesday. Today was Doofus Thursday for me. Um, I made a dumb mistake on the hood latch of my truck, and I had to work pretty hard to figure out how to fix it. Now, um, the latch on the hood release for this truck and is basically the same as those on the doors. This is in the closed position. So I'm used to, I've done this before, made the mistake on the door where, you know, just curiosity, I'm like, hmm, here, let me push this thing down and it closes. And then you either have to um, just pull the handle to release it or um, pull the handle and push up on the receiver uh, mechanism here to, because I could do it, but I don't really want to, just to uh, release it so it can, can catch on the striker bolt again. Okay, so the thing is, in this case, is um, the hood wasn't closing quite right, so I put this down. This is in the down position, and then I tried to close it again, stupidly, and it locked shut about this far up. So I looked up quick how to remove this thing. It's two bolts there and there, and I uh, have those over here, I believe. They're 10 millimeter bolts. I didn't have, actually, fortunately, I actually had one metric socket and it was 10 millimeter, but it did not fit this. So, a little trick I'm going to show you. If you don't have the right size drive for it, this is a, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's uh, the smaller one below 3 8 I think. Um, I had a screwdriver, a uh, standard tip, there that goes. Standard tip screwdriver, and it, if you wedge it in um, to the socket, I was actually able to fit that in there and twist. And these are pretty heavy torqued bolts, so it's kind of difficult, but it's better than not being able to do it. Anyway, the grill is off also. Um, that's not necessarily something you have to do, but it helped me. The only problem was... When I had the hood down, it was about this high, actually a little bit lower, about right there. And you can see these are where the screws for the um, grill go in. There's one, two, three, four, and then five down here. This is a 96 Ford F-350. <clears throat> and um, so, I mean, I don't have an angled Phillips screwdriver, so, Here's another little fun hack that you can do when you're in a bind. Um, I've got a quarter inch. Find my, here's the tip. Number two Phillips head and a quarter inch wrench. So the quarter inch uh, wrench just fits perfectly on there. So painstakingly, what I did is I um, held this like in two fingers, and then I took the wrench with the other hand and did it like that, and turned and turned and turned until all the screws came out. It's crazy the things you do when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have the tools you need. I figured that out a long time ago that little trick with the wrench and the standard screw bit, drill bit, um, and I guess it came in handy again. But once I was, once I had the grill off, the grill kind of sits up right here, and it makes especially that bolt really hard to get at. This one I got off without it, without taking the grill off, and then I took the grill off to do this one. It made it a million times easier. And then, like I said, just sticking a standard screwdriver uh, bit a uh, flathead screwdriver, hopefully you have a few different sizes, it will actually wedge into this socket enough where you can torque and turn without slipping. It didn't slip for me. So anyhow, perfect world scenario now that the hood latch is up. 
you're just going to take it and attach right back where it was. Of course, much easier now with the hood up. Those two bolts go back in. Now, uh, I could probably be a bigger idiot and just do it exactly as it is, but obviously it's still locked. So, um, it'll stay like that, but now notice there's these two prongs, and this is the lock position. I know because I did it. Now, if you go in and do the hood release, I'll show you how it looks when it's released and ready to close without locking. So you pull your hood latch, you'll hear a little, you'll feel resistance and hear a little click. The cable's pulling it, and now look. So, there you go. Um, hopefully that helps you to not make dumb mistakes like I did. Although, if you're watching this video, it probably means you did anyway. So there you go. Thanks for watching.